This little guy here is going to appeal to a lot of people, but first you're going to have to get past some misconceptions. If you're a Jeep person, first off, you're going to absolutely love it because it's a small package and this unit will jumpstart a dead battery and it will inflate your tires. So as soon as you get off the trail, you have something small you can pick up, inflate your tires, you have the battery backup that you might need. If something were to happen, you have an LED light that's on this guy and you also can use it to charge your phone or drone or anything like that. It's actually pretty cool. We're gonna go through this guy top to bottom. Stay tuned. So this stuff always seems to happen in the rain. We got nothing when we turn the key over at all. Not a bit. This truck has been giving us trouble for a while. And we're gonna hook this guy up. Since there should be some power in here, it should detect everything. said seven volts. We're at 11.5 at this point in time. This should detect when we're doing everything and it's actually in a charging mode right now. So it's going to tell us what is being put to the battery as it's going through. If we push the power button here, that's the actual voltage of the battery, 9.7. 9.6 fluctuating back and forth. We should be able to push the power button again and it should turn it on. Okay, so once you push the power button here and it goes to its normal voltage, then it was hard to get back on without reconnecting everything back up. So we're currently at 11.8 volts with this moving and pushing power in the battery was at nine point something. You can hear this clicking on and off, and that's just putting power to it. Thousand amps is what it says it will do, 2000 max. Let's see if it'll start it. Also, once the engine starts, this thing automatically turns off to save itself internally, but it's gonna tell us what the volts are. So let's pull this thing in out of the rain and do a little bit more work. So to test this guy further, I wanna see if it will start the motor without anything connected to the battery. What we'd have to do in this situation is turn it on and it's saying it's putting out 11.9 volts. Now if it didn't start up, which I'm really surprised that it automatically started because it's saying that you should push and hold the bar or the PSI in order to get this automatically started. Let's just push the power button to see what the voltage is. So somehow we're getting 1.9 volts and that could be something that's telling me we have a problem because I left the ground hooked up on this and the positive is not connected at all. So that could be why we're having major battery issues with this truck and also charging issues. So it picked that up, no issue. I'm gonna disconnect from power, reconnect, 1.9 volts, and it did pick it up. If it didn't pick it up and you wanted to force the start, you would push and hold the bar PSI for five seconds. Let's see if this will start. started up without issue, that's good. So this comes with a fairly decent air hose that's on here. We just screw this guy into the end and it has a quick coupler for Schrader valves on the other end and there's also other tools on the inside. So we'll connect this guy up.
turn it on. And we can set what we want it to pump the tire up to. Now, interestingly enough, it's not telling me what the pressure is on the inside. Oh, there it is, 27. So let's just hit pump. By no means is that a fast inflator. So if you were using that at the sand dunes to take a Jeep tire from 10 to 40, you would have been there a very long time just for one tire. And then worse, you're kind of stuck, you know, just where you're at because you probably don't want to overdo the duty cycle on this. Let's push this guy to 44. We were at 32. Let's see again how long this goes. Adding 12 PSI took five minutes and 15 seconds to a fairly large truck tire. And this is rated from 20 to 150 PSI. So you start to get to that 80 PSI mark, you're gonna start tripling those times, which is not good. You can also see that we're at half battery also. So in that period of 13 minutes while we were using this air pump, the hose did not get too crazy hot. It definitely is warm and it is not something that I'd want to continue to go for two more tires on. Not only do I think we would be low on battery life, I think that we're exceeding the duty cycle. If you guys are familiar with the DeWalt or Milwaukee inflators, they have a duty cycle of five to 10 minutes. So it depends on which model you have and which instructions you have on that one. Um, the unit is not overly hot. You can feel right around this area. It's got some heat to it, but the rest of it is not too bad. If we were to turn it on here, we can use the light, which is cool to have for different places, different areas. So this does do what it needs to do, but at the same point in time, it's going to be more of an emergency use thing. A lot of people say, can I take my inflator and go to the sand dunes and take my tires from 10 to 30 PSI? You can, but you're gonna exceed the duty cycle on those inflators. You're gonna to have to need multiple batteries realistically for most of them. And in this case, this one would be incredibly slow. But if you were just doing four PSI, you know, saying, you know, it's getting cooler out, PSI on the tires went down, need to bring it up a little bit, this would handle it, no issue. So it could get you out of the fact of having to have an air compressor and it would serve as an emergency compressor if needed or if you had a screw and you needed to get somewhere with a small leak in your tire. You also have a Presta fitting, you have something for a basketball needle fitting. And then if you had other styles of inflatable toys, you have two pins that will go in or two kind of buttons, I guess they would go in, be able to inflate those. This will not deflate. It will only inflate. As far as keeping everything together, comes with two bags to put everything in. You have a bag for your cables in your air hose, and then a bag for the actual unit and to put the cables and air hose in so you can keep it all together. Not bad. Is it perfect? No, but as with anything that does multiple things, usually it does both of them good, not one of them great. And it did start the truck without issue and it did inflate the tires, just took a little bit longer. So if you're in the market for saving space and if you have a Jeep again, this is one of those things where you, you don't have a lot of space. So this is about the size of a normal compressor that we were a normal inflator that you would get from DeWalt or Milwaukee, maybe just a little bit longer instead of fat. Either way, it works. Something to look at if you are in the market. As always, guys, please give us a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.